Hello everyone, today the thing I'm sharing with you is reliability requirements and solutions of uh, offshore PV systems. Briefly, my presentation is in five main sections. First, I will provide a general introduction of offshore PV market and policy. According to the report from uh, International Re Renewable Energy uh, Agency, the FPV market has spread uh, globally with more than 60 countries pursuing future deployment of FPV plants. Of these, 35 countries are already harboring uh, 338 FPV power plants. Table 2 provides a summary of some of the planned FPV projects globally in the coming years. According to a previous study, uh, the global FPV market is expected to maintain its growing trend with a growth rate of 30% until 2024. A variety of forecasts estimate the market potential to accommodate between 4 gigawatt and 10 gigawatt of installed FPV capacity over the next five years. Uh, in the Chinese market, the, the, the development of most of offshore PV projects is still in the technical exploration, and the experience is insufficient. Most of the large-scale projects that have been finished are built along the coastal mud, mud, mud flight. However, based on the macro incentive project uh, policies of the Shandong government in China, many offshore demonstration projects have been implemented in Shandong in 2022. The coastal environment in China is in harsh with strong wind and, wave, uh, and waves. Considering project safety, pile-based PV systems are certainly the mainstream in the market of the offshore PV systems. Uh, based on the area of Chinese coastal line and coastal mudflat area, here we have estimated uh, the exploratable area and installed capacity of pile-based offshore PV. As shown in the red table, uh, the pile-based coastal PV is expected to be about 180 gigawatt, and the mudflat PV is expected to be more than uh, 210 gigawatt. Then we will discuss with characteristics of marine environments. Uh, the marine environments can be divided into five major areas based on its cultural impact and, and height, namely the marine atmospheric zone, a splash, tidal, submerged, and subsoil. The area at the height of more than uh, two meters from the sea level is the atmospheric zone with higher temperature and humidity. Uh, the cultural rate of uh, Offshore is more than four to five times higher than inland. Uh, similarly, the influence of winds and UV radiation rate are also more severe. The splash zone is located at distance of uh, two, uh, zero to two meters from sea level, uh, where modules are often impacted by waves. The surface alternates between dry and wet conditions with sufficient water and oxygen supply, make it the most severely crowded area in the marine environment. Uh, the tidal zone is located between the mean high, uh, the mean high level uh, high water line and the mean low water line, uh, which is protected as a cathode area of oxygen concentration cell and has a low corrosion uh, rate. However, there is a risk of marine biofueling in this area. Therefore, the floating bodies of uh, floating PV systems are often attached to various uh, marine organisms, um, causing weight increase and sinking. And finally, the modules uh, soaking in water. In the end, uh, regarding the merge zone and subsoil zone, uh, the anchor system and power foundations in these two zones, uh, rather than our modules, uh, have to face corrosion uh, issues. Therefore, PV modules suffer from a relatively uh, harsh environments, such as high humidity, soft spray, strong wind. This causes various challenges to PV modules as shown in, this page, in, the, in these pictures, like accelerating age of connect connectors, uh, module frames, destruction of module structures, and marine organism uh, attachment. To face with this harsh environment, a series of tests should be complete to ensure the reliability requirements for modules in marine environments. All these results conducted by TV Nord fully verify the high reliability of our Jinkos N-type which has lower LED and LET ID than PERC. Uh, in, acceler in accelerated aging tests like UV 90 kWh, thermal cycle, damp heat, and mechanical stress sequence, our N-type modules satisfy the 5% degradation of IEC standard requirements and demonstrate the superior uh, performance. 
in order to adapt to the marine environment, the modules also need to meet uh, targeted testing requirements. Alternating uh, salt spray, salt water pressure immersion tests are conducted for strong corrosion environments. Uh, thermal cycle 300 and the 92 cycles at 110 Celsius degree is conducted for frequent temperature changes. UV plus damp heat in 1000 hours accelerated AG test is conducted for the long term UV and humidity, causing the efficacy loss of module structures such as glass frames. 1000 PA, 1000 cycles, the dynamic mechanical load uh, at 65 to 85 Celsius degree and and wind tunnel testing are conducted to evaluate the mechanical uh, property and wind resistance of our modules. Hot spots testing without cleaning after salt spray is conducted to evaluate the hot spot resistance of modules because there are some difficulties in cleaning and maintenance for offshore PV modules. Therefore, the optimization of module materials uh, is the ultimate guarantee for achieving safe uh, reliable and continuous operation for our, uh, our offshore PV project. Uh, so for the marine environment, we have opti optimized the module materials in many aspects, mainly in six points as shown. The first point, applying analyzed aluminum 20 micrometer frame compared with 10 micrometer of conventional module frame. This helps to reduce salt water and salt spray. Uh, the second point, apply double layer coated glasses. Compared with single layer of conventional uh, module, this helps to ensure both higher uh, light transmission and uh, anti-humidity. The third point, adopting POE rather than EVA uh, to ensure lower uh, vapor penetration, uh, better thermal stability, and high temperature endurance, while also mitigating potential induced degradation. Uh, the fourth uh, point, apply more silicon uh, sealant around the edge of the solar cells uh, and junction box to improve the cohesiveness, uh, co co which ensuring that electrical connections are protected from humidity. The fifth point, compared with potential p-type proc cells, untapped top contact technology has high efficiency and lower degradation, which can bring more power generation. The sixth point. Uh, applying additional double protect of IP68 connector, which places floral rubber protective sleeve and string tube uh, to deliver better waterproof and anti corrosion capabilities. On the one hand, uh, frames encapsulant glass connectors are optimized to figure with the reliability issues. On the other hand, top count untapped sales bring profit to offshore PV project inverters. Uh, invest, uh, investors, because of the high uh, SUF, higher foundation uh, floats, uh, and the brackets, the, the, the advantage of adopting untyped have been amplified, which helped to save project cost and increase revenues. Uh, specifically, for this stimulated floating PV array, the number of modules can be saved by more than 400 pieces. Uh, meanwhile, the land cost can be saved by 5.2%. Uh, the estimated boss, co uh, boss cost can be saved by more, more than 5 cents per watt. The electricity generation of in this case can uh, increase by 3.7% throughout the life cycle. Then take a quick look at a demonstration project. We provide uh, 200 kilowatt solar PV modules for CMIC levels. This world's first groundbreaking venture combines untyped top count technology uh, with a uh, domestically uh, dem uh, manufactured offshore semi submersible floating solar PV system. The platform has Chinese independent IP rights and marks a significant milestone in the exploration and practical application of marine based PV projects. In the end, let us discuss with offshore PV system solutions. Uh, there are three main types of offshore solar power uh, plants based on their design. Uh, fixed pile, uh, fixed pile based type is suitable for coastal area where the sea dips had better be lower than five meters, and typically the installation method of modules is same as the inland modules. Uh, floating platform type is suitable for sea area with water dips of more than five meters. Uh, floating sea film type is a mainstream product of the Norwegian company Ocean Sun, and this. Special type requires special installation 
and uh, custom design. In detail, fixed pile based um, TV systems have different structural forms. Bracket support plus piles is the conventional scheme. Through applying long span steel platform, we can save the numbers of the pile foundations and reduce the corrosion and water intrusion risk on modules. A uh, flexible structure plus its piles structure solution has reasonable structure twists but higher cost and uh, without any application. And honeycomb structure has fewer pile foundation, but the structure is complex, causing difficulties in construction. Typically, flow, uh, floating steel solar plants consist of solar panels mounted on uh, floating platforms. The platforms can be divided into three types. Uh, floating tube, floating box, and buoyancy ring, and floating sink membrane. At present, most of the floating tubes and boxes are made from HDPE, uh, which means high density uh, polyacetic, while floating sink membrane has not widely used in domestic floating PV projects. As previously mentioned in the second chapter, uh, strong wind, especially typhoon, would threaten PV modules. As shown in the picture, floating PV projects capsized. Some modules fell from the fixed bracket, some hold hoops of flexible PV supports uh, slipped. Therefore, we need to take some measures to cope with these issues. Reducing tilt angles can reduce uh, with wall area and the wind pressure with load. Reinforced connected points like six point installation or clamps for double flat fixation rather than conventional four points installation, which can enhance the load capacity of modules. Certainly, it's necessary to uh, conduct inspe uh, inspection and troubleshooting before a typhoon arrives. Similarly, a uh, wave dispersion method can provide a protect area for a, PV, uh, for a floating PV project to remove the wave height and energy. Uh, rubble mount breakwater and permeable breakwater are normally used in some harbors. Floating breakwater is a relative innovation and flexible method to filter the wave uh, disturbance. After simulation, wind tunnel test and the pilot test conducted by some floating uh, system companies, it, is, it has been verified that breaking, uh, brick waters are necessary for floating PV systems. Bird dropping are more severe in coastal and marine areas. The following are various uh, bird deterrent methods. For example, laser bird deterrent device can create a visual simulation a stimulation to scare away uh, birds. Marine biofueling is also an environment factor uh, affecting floating offshore PV systems. Usually, it's, it includes the following simplified steps within one month from the beginning to the end. Namely, the stage of condition, uh, condition film, a bacterial biofilm, micro uh, folding spores, and macro folding in the last. Uh, physical anti folding methods can be commonly divided into three categories. Uh, mechanical cleaning is a mature technology, but efficiency is low. Uh, ultrasonic cleaning has high efficiency, but may accelerate corrosion. UV inactivation is safe and stable, but can be absorbed by organic compound. About chemical anti folding methods, uh, biocides are effective but have environment risks. Uh, electrolytic method is easy to operate but has higher cost. Uh, anti folding coating can be divided into SPC type and FRC type. SPC has been extensively applied but harmful to the environment, while FRC is environmentally friendly but expensive. Thank you. And if you need clarification on any point, you are welcome to send an email.